Nima Kennedy, I'm a researcher based in Chagas Moor Park and I work on calf and heifer rearing systems. So today I spoke on how you um, get your replacement heifers to target weight. So if you consider that a replacement heifer costs about €1,545 Euro to rear, that's from birth until calving, it's quite a large amount of money. So it's really important that you get the heifers to their target weights in order to maximise their production potential when they reach the lactating herd. Um, when we're talking about target weights, what we're saying is that the heifers would need to be 30% of their mature body weight um, at six months of age, 60% of their mature body weight um, at mating or um, 15 months of age, and 90% of their mature body weight at calving. Um, for example, a Hosnian Frisian cow with a mature body weight of 580 kilos, that means the heifer has to be 175 kilos at six months of age, 330 kilos at mating and then 550 kilos at calving down. Now if you don't reach those targets there are consequences. So underweight heifers at mating start date they may not even be cycling so this is going to um, delay the calving date and again that will have consequences for later lactations. Also from a lot of work that we have done um, across 50 different herds throughout the country we have found that by the end of the third lactation, those heifers that were underweight at mating start date, almost 50% of those had left the farm by the end of the third lactation. So you're not capitalising on the um, higher milk yields that you'll achieve with your mature dairy cows in the herd. Further to that, you're also um, looking at reduced milk solids yield, not only in the first lactation, but also in lactations two and three, and those heifers tend to be underweight um, throughout their lactating life. All of these things, if you put them together, it's looking at reduced profitability in the farm. So you have the um, high cost of rearing your heifer and you know, you, that you're going to incur that cost anyway. And also you're going to look at reduced profitability if you don't get her to the target weight. So it just emphasizes the point that you really need to get those heifers to target weight. I guess the next question is, how are you going to do that? So there are a few simple um, steps to doing this. The first is colostrum management. So there's a simple little rule um, to remember how much colostrum to, to give the calf, and it's colostrum one, two, three. So it's the first milking and only the first milking of the cow, because if you look at the antibodies um, in colostrum of a cow, they have by the time of the second milking. So it's only the first milking we're interested in. You have to give that milk to the calf within two hours of birth because after this the ability of the calf to absorb the antibodies from the colostrum is reducing and by 24 hours of age it has ceased completely. And then the third, so your one, two, three, your third is to feed three litres um, of milk to that calf. And then you should ideally feed up to four um, transition milk feeds and transition milk is milkings two to six um, from the cow after she's calved. Um, and it is really important that the calf gets this colostrum because of the samples that were submitted to regional veterinary laboratories throughout Ireland, um, we saw that up to 70% of these animals had inadequate absorption of immunoglobulins or antibodies. So if the calf hasn't a properly developed immune system, it's not going to be able to fight disease um, if, if it becomes an issue and also its health is going to be compromised. Um, and this is obviously is going to have effects on its weight gain. So then after the calf has been fed the colostrum, uh, the next thing is how much milk should the calf be fed? Now traditionally Irish dairy farmers would feed um, their, their calves four litres of milk, so say two litres in the morning, two litres in the evening. If you compare this to a suckler calf, a suckler calf drinks about 20% of its birth body weight um, in milk per day, so that's about eight litres for a 40 kilo calf. So you can see there's a massive difference. And by only feeding your calf four litres of milk a day, it's compromising um, its ability to grow because it barely has enough energy to maintain itself, never mind have energy to, to um, have it grow and put on weight. So what we would suggest is kind of an intermediate between the suckler uh, calf and the, the traditional feeding systems. So calves should be fed about 15% of their birth body weight in milk. So for a 40 kilo calf, that's about six litres um, of milk that the calf should be fed. And the milk they should be fed is high quality milk um, straight from the line, no waste milk whatsoever um, or else high quality milk replacer. And that's milk replacer with a crude protein content over 25%. So then when it comes to weaning the calf, it's much better to wean the calf based on weight. And from our experiments in Moor Park, what we found is that the ideal target is about 18% of um, their mature body weight. So for example, 100 kilos for a Holstein Frisian calf. 
And this is important because as we've seen in experiments that we've done, there's no difference um, in the weight gain post weaning in calves that are weaned at a lighter weight or a heavier weight. So when it comes to say six months of age, the differences that are there in weight between the calves are due to the way that they were fed their milk in the pre weaning period rather than differences um, in the post weaning period. Um, once the calf is weaned, then it should be fed concentrate and that depends grass and concentrate diet and that depends again on, on um, the weight of the calf and the supply of, of grass on the farm. Uh, ideally, the calves should be in covers of less than 1400 kilos of dry matter per hectare. Um, you don't want calves in paddocks where they stay there for months on end and the grass gets really high and stemmy. Um, it's not of good enough quality for them to put on weight. So we've now come through the pre-weaning period, the post-weaning period, um, and I guess we're up to the first winter. So what is the ideal diet to give um, calves or your replacement heifers during that first winter? Um, from the many experiments that we have done in Moorpark, we have looked at various different diets. And what we have found um, is that heifers that are given a silage-only diet will put on about 0.3 of a kilo um, per heifer per day and this is insufficient um, weight gain in order to ensure that they'll achieve target weight at mating start date. So if you want to make sure that they'll achieve target weight at mating start date you need to put in some concentrate unless of course the heifers are way ahead of target um, at housing. So you can get up to a half a kilo um, a day with one kilo and over this with two kilos um, of concentrate. But the biggest thing to bear in mind with, with heifers at housing is actually the turnout date. The earlier you turn out your heifers, the better. So you can almost double the weight gain um, at grass. Uh, you would get almost double the weight gain at grass that you would when they're indoor on their, on their, their different winter diets. So the message is pretty clear and simple uh, that you need to turn your heifers out to grass as soon as possible in the spring. Following that, um, an all-grass diet is sufficient um, for their second grazing season. And if you think that your heifers are slightly under target going into their second winter, you can always put in concentrate, but you should stop that at least six weeks before they're due to calf. And if you get all those things right, I'm pretty confident that your heifers should be on target at the different key points during the rearing. You actually have to start thinking about achieving those target weights from the minute the calf is born. So I would say the most critical thing that you will do is get sufficient colostrum into that calf in a timely manner.